Hello there, how you doing today? Well, I'm at the Project 365 greenhouse again today. And um, today, I would like to visit with you about aphids. That's right. And I actually think we're kind of going the wrong direction. The majority of people out there are thinking, it's an aphid, ah, I want to kill it, right? I want to destroy it, I want to get it off my plant. I actually think that's the wrong thinking. What we need to be thinking is, is this plant healthy? Because if it's not, if it's not super healthy, and I mean completing proteins correctly through the photosynthesis process, then it's gonna be susceptible to aphids. So guess what? The aphids is just an indicator. They're the messenger. And we just want to kill them. And I'm like, we're trying to do the wrong thing. As gardeners, we need to be thinking, and growers, we need to be thinking, if I have aphids, I'm not doing my job good enough. And I need to fix something. Not go buy the neem oil and try to spray, 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 or wash, 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 or all those things that people say how to get rid of aphids, you're only putting a band-aid on it. You're not getting rid of aphids until you get your plant healthy. Let me explain. Let's go for a walk. I'll show you. Or try to explain some things. Might not show you much. But we'll look at plants and talk about how to get our plants to not want aphids. Or at least not be inviting them. They're inviting them. So I'm not here to sell any products. I'm not affiliated with anybody in any way, shape, or form. I just want to help educate people and help teach people that the aphid is just the indicator. It's the messenger, and we need to get the plant healthier. How do we get the plant healthier? So in this place, we use the Advancing Agriculture's product. Um, it's just called Planter Solution, but it's the same product as something like this one, which I use from the Bionutrient Association, Bionutrient Food Association. And so it's got um, a co combination of products in it, it uh, diluted um, seawater, fish hydrolysates, calcium carbonate, um, sulfur, molasses, rock phosphate, magnesium, um, bor boric acid, so boron, and molybdenum, kelp, zinc, copper, cobalt. So, and then your fulvic acid, humic acids, and worm castings all in one product. So, and there's other companies out there too that have this combination of products that are proven they've proven, I'm not, I'm not a PhD, I'm just a gardener, but they've proven that they will help do, help the plants do photosynthesis better. Once they do, once those plants are doing photosynthesis better, they will not have aphids. They can't. They can't digest them. You won't have white flies, you won't have any of those types of pests. So we're not going to talk about beetles today. We're just talking about aphids and white flies type of pest, right? So we just need to get the plant to be able to do complete proteins. Once we do, they drop off the plants. So in the in this greenhouse, they were putting on the planter solution once once a week since the beginning, since planting all the way through the growing season. These peppers were still having aphids. They had them for almost a month. Part of the greenhouse, just this one bed. And so we finally um, increased the interval. So we were given it twice a week instead of once a week. And also those things seem to happen, in my experience, about the same time. Once those plants kind of meet this, get these nitrates work through their system, they get to do in photosynthesis better. It's kind of like a track runner getting warmed up, right? Once they're warmed up, they're running really good, right? Well, these plants are just kind of the same way. So, but because 
we didn't do anything. We didn't put in, we didn't do the neem oil, we didn't do essential oils, we didn't do any of those things. We just took care of the plants and watered. The beneficial insects come in here by the, by the tons. Uh, we had lace wings laying eggs everywhere, even under watering cans, all over the salary, all over the peppers, all over the place. We had lady beetles hatching out that I've never in my life, and I've gardened my whole life, and organically for the last 20 years, um, I've never seen anything like this, as how many um, beneficial insects can show up. Unbelievable. And as they're living out their life cycles, the immature lady beetles and lace wings are eating aphids by the hundreds by the day. Just amazing stuff. So that problem worked its way out all by itself. We didn't do anything. So it come late, it must have been August probably. It was, it was hot here, very hot in August. And so we had a bed over here. I'll show you, of this, uh, this clengia. The clengia was on the edge of the bed and of the tomatoes, and there was beets on the other side there. And they had all of a sudden got aphids like, like overnight. And these guys can happen. It can happen to these guys quite quickly. Let me show you. Um, there's probably some right here on these. Oh, yeah, a few aphids right here on those aphids. So I've noticed that these flowers are pretty susceptible to aphids, uh, especially late in the season. You know, they've kind of went through their life cycle. I don't know how many times we've deadheaded them and forced them to come again and again, and, and they've responded well. But once they get into August, it's super hot. They don't like the heat that well. And um, if we get low on water in the bed, this bed is not, not low on water, but it's ready to get watered today. Yeah, it probably, it, it definitely needs water today. So as soon as the, the plant's under any stress load, it was under heat stress load, then it was under not getting enough water when it wanted it, and they got loaded up with aphids. Um, for a good two and a half weeks, we had solid aphids on these plants. And the beneficial insects that come in here, um, flies, bees, um, but, uh, lady beetles that we've never seen before, bright yellow ones and, and two spot, eight spot, whatever, lots of different <laughs> lady beetles and lots, lots and lots of bees and flies that we don't even know who they are. They just show up and they were helping take care of the pollination and the aphids. So one thing that helps us draw in all of those pollinators and beneficial insects in this greenhouse is having diversity. And I think I've talked about it a little bit in one of the films before, and I'm going to continue to talk more about diversity. But this sweet alyssum is one thing that we have as early as we can in the beds. I think we had three beds of sweet alyssum in them this year. All right, so the sweet alyssum has got tiny, tiny flowers and gives a nectar pollen source to tiny insects. So they're able to live in here because we have food source for them. Pretty cool, right? Without those uh, flowers and different flower types, we've got all kinds of different flower types in here we wouldn't be able to have the beneficial insects show up the way that we have them show up. So, let me recap. We've said a lot here. We need to be thinking the second we see aphids, there's more aphids uh, showing up. I don't know if you can barely see them in the film. Um, we've got stressed plants. So we need to take care of the plants better as gardeners instead of think oh my gosh I gotta go kill this aphid no the aphid is actually going to feed the beneficial insects if you leave it alone and um, 
I just need to take care of the plant better as a grower. So we add the micronutrients, the micro food, because it's not going to do any good to just have micronutrients when the microbes need to, to uh, get that processed into plant availability. Now look at these peppers are just loaded up all the way to the top and still blooming, still going, late October here. Of course, we haven't had a frost inside the greenhouse, and these peppers are going to continue to, to perform as long as they have the micronutrients they need and the water, and we don't have any cold weather. We don't have a frost. It's going to take a frost, a hard frost, to kill these plants. Right, they're super healthy right now and doing fantastic and will continue to do so until a big enough stressor kills them, such as uh, maybe 25 degrees would kill them for sure. So when you have aphids, when you get aphids, it's not a matter of if, it's when, right? We all get aphids. When we get aphids, we want you to stop thinking, I gotta kill it. Start thinking, look, think, what's wrong with the plant? There's something stressing the plant. If the plant wasn't stressed, the aphids would not be there. They can't. Okay, so we need to figure out what's wrong. Address the water, address the temperature if possible. Get the micronutrients in there that into the plant to help them do photosynthesis better. The plant will take care of its own business. In fact, when the plant is not doing photosynthesis well, it's not completing proteins, and it's stressed, it's sending signals for the aphids to come attack it. And we're interviewing with neem oil and other products and stuff that are like, no, wait a minute. We need to stop intervening, stop, start helping, help the plant do photosynthesis better. All right, I'm sure I'm sounding like a broken record right now, but I am trying to educate and teach and um, my students, I don't know how many times I've got to repeat something before they get it, but wow. All right, I think you got it this time though. All right, so thanks for visiting. Um, please drop some comments. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, I'd love to hear from other growers that have figured out how to get their plant healthy enough to not have aphids and um, avoid white flies even in these greenhouse situations. When we are moving into more 365 type greenhouses, we're going to have more white fly issues. It's not a white fly issue. It's a plant health issue. So we need to be thinking, how am I going to make my plants healthier? Do I need more microbes? Do I need more micronutrients? That's what I want you to be thinking. All right, it's been great having you stop by and visit, and I hope I've shared some information that is helpful for you. And if so, you know what to do with the, all those buttons. And uh, if you liked it, please do something with the buttons. that will help us out. And uh, we're just trying to get to more growers and gardeners and uh, help everybody grow more nutrient dense food that is super healthy and it's a lot of fun growing plants so let's do it um maybe with less aphids next year but until now till then thanks for visiting and uh we will see you on a video soon bye now <laughs>